Thank you, Presiding Officer. <clears throat> to ask the Scottish Government, in light of the declaration by more than 20 countries from four continents at COP28 to triple nuclear energy capacity by 2050, recognising the key role of nuclear energy in reaching net zero, for what reason it is reportedly discounting nuclear power? Yeah. Secretary Neil Gray. Yeah, thank you, President Officer, because it is not safe, it is expensive and it is not wanted in Scotland. Uh, also, it is not needed in Scotland. We have an abundant uh, natural uh, energy resource and capital which can and is contributing to our energy mix. And as we are seeing from experiences elsewhere in the UK, new nuclear power takes years, if not decades, to become operational uh, and will push up household and business energy bills even more. Uh, under the contract awarded by the UK Government, Government to Hinkley Point C, the electricity that will be generated will be priced at £92.50 per megawatt hour. We know the Tories care little these days about achieving a pathway to net zero, but this SNP Government still does, and we believe significant growth in renewables, storage, hydrogen, carbon capture provide the best pathway to net zero in Scotland. Edward Mayne. Well, at the weekend, the cold, we had very cold weather with not a gust of wind. We relied on nuclear power to keep the lights yeah, on in Scotland. Yeah. Given this, why is Scotland's government so hypocritical, being happy to import nuclear power and allowing our jobs and investment in the industry to go abroad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the National Grid ESO conducted a study of the effect of the earlier uh, than ex expected uh, closure of uh, nuclear generation in Scotland, which concluded that the system uh, would be uh, secure. Uh, on the cost, of course, of uh, nuclear uh, power compared to what I would want to see, uh, which is greater investment uh, in pumped hydro storage, uh, we can see that the, in August the UK Government announced a further £341 million investment to be made uh, available to speed preparations for construction at Sizewell C, uh, taking uh, in addition to the £870 million at stake that there already exists. I would far rather to see a market mechanism to see the support for pumped hydro storage coming. Imagine if we had an equivalent funding support for pumped hydro storage as what is given to nuclear power. That would allow us to see power from the glens rather than white elephants from Westminster. Edward Mayne. Well, uh I was going to thank the Cabinet Secretary for that answer, but it wasn't an answer to the question I asked. Maybe it was one he thought I'd asked in his mind. So what we are in a position is, I went to Torness the other day and saw a very safe nuclear power station, yeah, yeah. a safe nuclear power station that employed plenty of people in Scotland. And I asked them if they were to redesign the nuclear power station, what they'd change. They said nothing. What they do is good for Scotland and keeps jobs in the local economy. Why won't you accept that on the belief that safety is the paramount failing of nuclear power, which no one else agrees with? Well, I think the evidence of the, the, the alleged hacking uh, of uh, Sellafield this week uh, and uh, what we have seen from Russia's invasion of Ukraine points very clearly uh, at uh, the worries uh, that are around safety. And these are not just concerns that, that we have uh, here in Scotland. We know that colleagues uh, in the European Union are either, many of them, are either moving away uh, or uh, continue to oppose uh, new uh, nuclear. But of course, this uh, announcement and, and uh, Mr. Mountain question uh, previously spoke of uh, hypocrisy. It comes off the back of, uh, of the Prime Minister uh, spending as much time in the air in his private jet going to COP as he actually did spending time uh, actually negotiating a route by which we can address the climate emergency uh, and uh, can take advantage of the economic opportunities that we have in Scotland by making a just transition to renewables. Thank you. Let's listen to both the questions and the answers, please. A number of supplementary is going to start with Ivan Mickey. President officer, um, due to the high costs and the decades it takes to build, uh, notwithstanding safety and disposal of waste concerns, it appears that nuclear would do nothing to address the urgent need to drive down energy prices. Can the Cabinet Secretary provide further details on any assessment the Scottish Government has made on support for nuclear risk in pushing bills even higher and why significant growth in green renewables provides the best route to affordable and clean energy? 
Cabinet Secretary. Uh, yes, I, I appreciate that from uh, Ivan McKee. The UK Government has awarded a contract for difference for 35 years uh, for Hinkley Point C at £92.50 per megawatt hour uh, based on 2012 prices, higher than the strike prices set for offshore and onshore wind in the next allocation round at £73 and £64 uh, respectively. For this reason, significant growth in renewables provides the best pathway to net zero for Scotland, delivering uh, a climate-friendly energy system that delivers affordable, resilient and clean energy energy supplies for our people, businesses and communities. And of course, it's only with independence that our full energy potential will be realised. Scotland's massive renewable energy resources can be the bedrock of a new independent country. And with independence, we come in the model for how an economy can transform itself, decarbonising and creating well-paid, secure jobs. Mark Ruskell. Nuclear energy is costly, dangerous and will leave a legacy of toxic waste and higher bills for generations to come. The Tories' epic failure to deliver Hinkley Point to time and budget shows just how unreliable and costly new nuclear is. In contrast, in Scotland, we're getting on with the job, building out new wind and solar at pace. So would the Cabinet Secretary join me in welcoming the new pledge from 118 countries at COP28 to triple their renewable energy capacity? And does he agree that locally sourced Renewable energy is the real solution to ending our reliance on climate wrecking fossil fuels. Cabinet Secretary. Uh, yes, I do, uh, and I appreciate that from uh, Mark Ruskell. He is absolutely right. Um, the OBR has forecast. Uh, as estimated that it could cost as much as £263 billion to manage, manage the legacy of U the UK's nuclear uh, industries. Uh, that is quite the burden to be ch passing on to future generations. Uh, the Scottish Government position on nuclear power is clear. We do not support the construction of new nuclear power stations in Scotland. We welcome the commitment of so many countries to accelerate the transition to renewables. And the Scottish Government's draft energy strategy and just transition plan sets a high level of ambition for the further deployment of renewables of more than 20 gigawatts of additional capa generation capacity by 2030, uh, enough renewable generation to power every house in Scotland for seven years, and with the Green Industrial Strategy that we'll be publishing early next year, uh, also making sure that we take maximum economic advantage of the massive energy potential that we've got coming through. And Stephen Kerr. This government is anti-science. That's the bottom line. And what we, what, what we would, what we would, what the minister would win, what the cabinet said would win in a herald competition for water boutery, he'd win first prize. Because all we've heard is water boutery. De De Deputy presiding officer, nuclear energy is a clean source of energy and is widely accepted as such, including by the, the, the Cabinet Secretary's friends in the European Union. Uh, my, my friend Edward Mountain mentioned Torness, where we have the last remaining nuclear power station. The question is this, what about the jobs? What about the skill base? What about the high income jobs that the nuclear, nuclear industry brings to Scotland? What about our statement on apprentices? How many apprentices uh, will lose their positions at Torness Governor when he Secretary. finally gets his Governor way? Secretary. Uh, thank you very much, uh, President Officer. There are a few questions in there, I think, uh, from uh, Mr Kerr. On uh, the position of our friends and neighbours in the European Union, in April, Germany shut down the last of its three nuclear power plants, joining other member states which have no nuclear power stations and remain opposed to nuclear power, including Austria, Denmark, Ireland, Italy, Estonia, Latvia, Luxembourg, uh, Malta uh, and uh, Portugal. Several other member states, including Spain, have plans to phase out uh, nuclear power. And it's perhaps because uh, of that cost and and the risk that it poses. Uh, but, you know, actions speak louder than words. And the fact that the Prime Minister was only willing to spend around 12 hours at COP, an opportunity to expand the opportunities uh, that they have, uh, apparently uh, flying in separate private jets from the Foreign Secretary, um, it speaks uh, louder than the words on the actions that we are demonstrating, which will be included on the jobs that Mr Kerr appears to be so concerned about that we will look to harness from our green industrial strategy, taking economic advantage from the renewable power that we have in abundance in Scotland. 